Welcome to the final segment of the show, as it happens. I am Londim Kize, the national spokesperson of the ANC Youth League. Now I am taking your calls. Our first caller is Nog Piwe from Tembisa. Hi, hi, Londi, how are you? Yes, hi, Nog Piwe. I'm good, thank you. There's a persistent uh, report of a plot in KZN to form a project of Zuma breakaway party. The ANC Youth League is known for its affiliation with Jacob Zuma as a party, as a feeding table. Does this mean you will be joining too? Because Nina Vele Nintandizindu and Mameli next. Well, the ANC Youth League <coughs> is not joining any formed or going to be formed political party, first and foremost. And the question was more directed to the ANC Youth League in KwaZulu Natal, the answer would still be the same. And if the answer was directed at Mlundi, the response is still the same. The African National Congress and the African National Congress Youth League, the South African Communist Party, are the political organizations I belong to. And I would not be joining any political party that would be new or be formed. But one thing that I must say, it is quite dangerous if we are going to perceive people of KwaZulu Natal as Zuma supporters. People of KwaZulu Natal must be understood. They like their president or they like the former president. And they like him. And you can't change that. They like him. So don't, when there are people who then intend or are said to be intending to form a political party in his name, then think that he too is going there and that the rest of ANC members are going there. He made it very clear recently that he's not going anywhere. He knows only the African National Congress. That's why he's actually the first president I have seen, because I have not seen so many presidents of the ANC that finished their term of office and continue to attend programs of the African National Congress if he was like an ANC member. It's the only one. So, 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 yes. The next caller is uh, Tabang from Orange Farm. Tabang? Uh, thank you, Chief. Uh, evening, man. Evening, evening. Sure. Uh, my, 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 my questions are just two and straight to, to the point. So uh, I want to know what is the status of the ACU League currently? Because last time I remember you wanted to go uh, all us out, out of your league. And uh, then if so, what is, what is the purpose of this structure? Because uh, there are people there, you have people who are only young at heart. Age is no longer on your side. These people are old. The likes of Mbalula, who's 80, like 24 years old, but it's 40, you know. So that's my question. Well, uh, the Congress of the ANC Youth League, well, I'm not too sure whether I'm, I'm suitable because today I'm Londim Kize, who is hosting a show as it happens. So technically, I belong to ANCA today, but uh, because I have the knowledge, I would share it. From the 6th to the 11th of September, the National Congress of the African National Congress Youth League is sitting. And if you had asked other issues or information pertaining to the process, I would have answered you, but the question was quite clear. When is the date? Because you want to see the leadership that is not only young at heart, but young in age. 6th of September till the 11th is the day to come up with that leadership. Tabiso from uh, Pretoria, hello. Hi, um, my question is, why are you not prioritizing safety and security for women in South Africa? Why is my nana not charged? And as a, young, as a young man, why are you not driving this issue? Well, uh, the ANC Youth League uh, has a position on what uh, needs to be done uh, to comrade Manana. Secondly is that uh, there are activities that are going to take place relating or responding to incidences that are similar to that one of Comrade Manana that the Youth League actually is currently planning in the month of June. So let, let us not preempt them and say them before time, let's wait for them, that won't happen. But the last point is that uh, <clears throat> the African National Congress Youth League, sadly or unfortunately, cannot take some decisions about the leadership of the African National Congress. It is upon the African National Congress to exercise leadership on its members and its leaders. And, uh, and uh, I think that quite uh, frankly, we all of us uh, are not agreeing 
about and uh, the things or the events that relate to the incident that happened. So it, sh it, should, it should, should not actually be at, at any level doubted that the youth league is uh, quite ashamed uh, of that incident. And as a result, uh, we would be, would be playing and doing our part in terms of ensuring that we put pressure in uh, ensuring that action is taken against uh, not only Comrade Manana, but against everyone. Recently, there was a, a, a suggestion on social media and some other uh, media space that uh, there is some celebrity who is uh, ill-treating or abusing another celebrity. The reason why I say ill-treating is because we have not gotten the details of what happened so that we know what exactly happened. So, so it's something that happens across. And when the Youth League does that, it does it for everyone outside of Manana and including Manana. Sadly, this is all we have. We have had the time for tonight. Thank you for watching and participating. If you missed any of today's program, you can watch it again on YouTube as it happens. This is the special edition. Good night and have an awesome weekend. And don't forget to love the African National Congress always. Thank you.